technique is the mesh current method or mesh analysis. So this method method is similar to noodle analysis, but it is based on KVL and it can only be applied to planar circuits. So first step is to assign mesh currents I1, I2, up to IN to the N number of uh, meshes. So mesh currents are the currents that are within the perimeters of the mesh. Thus, as what we defined before, a mesh is a loop without enclosing another loop. So next step is to apply KVL to each of the N meshes. So use Ohm's law to express the voltages in terms of the mesh currents. And three, solve the resulting N simultaneous equations to get the mesh, mesh currents. So to demonstrate the mesh current method or mesh analysis, take a look at this circuit. Uh, this circuit contains three branch currents, I1, I2, and I3. So to follow the passive sign convention, we will assign uh, voltage polarities to each resistor. We have positive, negative, is positive, negative, and positive, negative. So applying KCL at the top center node, and let's label that node as node A. We have I1 equivalent to I2 plus I3 equivalent to I1 minus so applying AVL at the left loop AVL Left loop, so we have negative V1 plus R1 times I1 plus R3 times I3 equals to 0. Let's, let's express I3 in terms of I1 and I2. So we have Negative V1 plus R1 times I1 plus R3 times I1 plus I2 plus 2 0. So let's leave this equation. Then we have KVL at right loop. We have negative R3 times I3 plus R2, I2 plus V2 plus 2, 0. Let's express I3 in terms of I1 and I2. So we have give I3 times I1 minus I2 plus R2, I2, plus V2, plus 2, 0. Or we can rearrange this equation right here as R3, I2, minus I1, plus R2, I2, plus V2, plus 2, 0. Give this as equation 2. So now let's assign uh, mesh currents to this circuit. So we apply mesh currents to the two meshes. We have this mesh. So let's, let's assign this as mesh current IA. And then this mesh right here as mesh current IB. 
So the direction of the mesh currents is arbitrary. So you can choose, so it can be uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. But for simplicity and to minimize errors, you will choose uh, clockwise for all the mesh currents. So applying KCL at mesh IA, so we have negative V1 plus R1 IA plus R3 times the mesh current IA minus the mesh current of the right mesh IB equal to 0. Now if we apply EVL at mesh IB we have R3 times mesh IB minus mesh I mean mesh current IB minus mesh current IA plus R2 IA I mean R2 IB plus P2 plus 2 yep now we have equation 1 and equation 2 if we compare the equation 1 is left side the equation 1 the right side notice that they have the same form so v1 r1 i1 and r3 times i1 minus i2 so we can say that i1 equivalent to i a and i2 equivalent to a b so i1 branch i the branch current i1 just equivalent to the mesh current i a a branch current i2 equivalent to the mesh current i b then the branch current i3 equivalent to the mesh current i a minus mesh current i b or the, the advantage of using mesh is that we uh, eliminate this step right here ECL because it is incorporated in the equation so use mesh to determine the power associated with the voltage sources and then calculate VO so first we need to assign uh, mesh currents to each mesh so let's just we have one mesh uh, label, label this as mesh IA mesh IB and mesh IC so using mesh applying KVL at mesh IA so we have negative 40 plus 2 IA plus 8 times IA minus IB equal to 0 so we have 10 IA minus 8 IB equivalent to 0 we have equation 1 so applying KVL at mesh IB so we have 8 times IB minus IA plus 6 IB 
plus x ib minus ic equal to 0. We have negative 8ia okay, plus we have 8 plus 6 plus 6. So we have 20 ib and then minus 6 ic equal to 0. We have equation number 2. Uh, for the last mesh, PBL at mesh IC, we have 6 times IC minus IB plus 4 IC plus 20 equal to 0. We have negative 6 IB plus 10 IC equal to negative 20. We have third equation. We have the equations. The announce. We can also solve for the values of IA, IB, and IC. IA is equivalent to 5.6 is B is 2 amperes I see it is 0 0.8 is so having this having this values we can also for the power associated with the voltage sources power the default source have 30 40 times i8 we have negative 2 4 watts power of the 20 volt source equivalent to 20 times IC equivalent to 16 watts and we have VO equivalent to 8 times IA minus IB equivalent to 28.8 volts 